Hello everyone, this is Mamta Mund and today we are going to solve some questions 1 to 3 of self practice 6F of chapter 6. Chapter name is Decimals of class 6 of new learning composite mathematics textbook. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos and please visit my blog maxgrade.com for more information regarding the textbook solutions of CBC, ICC and other state boards. Let's get started and solve some questions and if you like this video then please um, click uh, the like button. Today we will learn and solve self-practice exercise questions 1, 2, 3, self-practice 6F of chapter 6, chapter name is decimals and topic is converting fractions into decimals. Let's solve some questions. Now question number 1. Convert each of the following fractions into decimals. First bit 8. 9 divided by 10. In the denominator, uh, the number is 10. So 10 and 10 has two, only one zero. So we have to place one digit after decimal place. And in the numerator, only one single digit 9 is here. So, we have to place one and digits after decimal place. Then it will, it will be 0 0.9. After decimal place, only one single digit. Now, second, second bit B. 23 divided by 10. Here in the denominator, 10. 10 has only one single zero. So we have to place one digit after decimal place and in the numerator the num digit is 23. The number is 23 so we have to place one digit after the decimal place. So that, is, in that it will be, it will be 2.3. And we have to place one digit after decimal place. So it will be from the left side, from this side, it will be 3, 2.3. So answer is 2.3. Now C B 6 divided by 100. In the denominator 100, that is 2 zeros. So we have to place 2 digits after the decimal place. So it will be 6, 0, 0 0.06. Because after the decimal place, 0, 6, 2 digits. But here in the numerator, only one single digit. So, we have to place one more 0 before the digit 6. If we place after the digit 6, then it will be 0 0.60, which is, which is equal to 0 0.6 only. 0 0.60 is equal to 0 0.6 only. So, we have to place uh, 0 to the left hand side 0 0.06 before the digit 6 we have to place 0 but if we place after the uh, if we place 0 after the digit 6 then it will be 0 0.6 only these two decimal sets similar same values 0 0.60 is equal to 0 0.6 So 9 divided by 10 is equal to 0 0.9, 23 divided by 10 is 2.3 and 9 and 6 divided by 1000 is 0 0.6 divided by 100 is 0 0.06. Now D B, 69 divided by 100. In the denominator 100 uh, there is two, digit, 2 zeros so you have to place two digits after the decimal place. In the numerator, the number is 69. 69. So, we have to place two digits after the decimal place. So, from this side, from left side, if we place the after digits 1, 2, so we have to place here decimal point. So, it will be 0 0.69. Now, 600 uh, e bit, 657 divided by 100. In the denominator 100, there is two zeros. So we have to place two digits after after the decimal place. So it will be six five seven. From the left hand side, from this side, from uh, from right hand side, 
the if we place two digits after the decimal place one this is one digit two digits if we place here we have to place decimal point here so it will be 6.57 now fd 3 divided by 1000 in the denominator 1000 is 3 0 so we have to place three digits after the decimal place uh, so it will be three from this side if we place this is one digit then we have to place one more zero so it will be two digits then we have to place one more zero so it will be now it will be three digits one two and three now we have to place this one this one point here now the answer is 0 0.003 so 3 divided by 1000 is 0 0.003 if we place uh, 3 after 3 if we place 2 zeros then it will be 0 0.300 then it will be 0 0.3 only because uh, if we place zeros as many zeros after the digit then that value has the same, same then that decimal has the same values with 0 0.3 only. So we have to place 0 before the digit 3. So 3 0 0.003 this is the answer. So 3 divided by 1000 is 0 0.003. Zero point three zero is equal to zero point three only. Zero point three zero 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 as many zeros if you place after the digit three, then the value is, uh, has the same meaning. Since then the decimal has the same value with zero point three or any digit. Now sixty nine divided by one hundred is zero point six nine. Sixty nine divided by one hundred is zero point six nine. 657 divided by 100 is 6.57 and 3 divided by 1000 is 0 0.003 now gb 17 divided by 10000 here in the denominator 10000 there are four zeros so we have to place uh, four, di uh, 4 digits after the decimal place. After the decimal point, we have to place three, uh, 4 digits. In the numerator, 17 has only 2 digits. So, 17 from right side, in it is 7, 1 digit, 2 digits. So, we have to place 2 more zeros before the digit 1. Now, it will be 0 0.0017. If we place 17 after 7, if we place 0, 0. Then here, if we place decimal point 0 0.1700, then it will be incorrect because uh, if we place after uh, after the after the digit seven, if we place zeros, then it will be it will have the same value with 0 0.17, 0 0.17, which uh, and 0 0.1700 both have same values, so it will be incorrect. So we have to place uh, before uh, the digit 1 we have to place two zeros so it will be 0 0.0017 0 0.0017 is the answer so 17.17 17 divided by 10,000 is 0 0.0017 now hb hb is uh, 173 divided by 1000 in the denominator 1000 there are three zeros so we have to place three digits after the decimal point 173 so we have to place three digits means we, if we from right side one digit two digit three digits so we have to place 0 0.173 uh, and the answer is 0 0.170 so 173 divided by 1000 will be 0 0.173 so 17 divided by 10,000 is 0 0.0017 and 173 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.173. Now question number IB. 6059 
divided by 10,000. Here in the denominator, 10,000 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 zeros. 4 zeros, so we have to place 4 digits after decimal point. So it will be 6059. The numerator is 6059, so we have to place 4 digits after the decimal place. So if we from right side, 1 single digit, 2, 3, 4. 4 digits. So, you have to place here decimal point. So, it will be 0 0.6059. So, 6059 divided by 10,000 is 0 0.6059. Now, JB. 28769 divided by 1000. We can write 28 plus 769 divided by 1000. And in the denominator, 1000 is 3 zeros. And in the numerator, there is three digits. So we have to place three digits after the decimal place. After the decimal point, we have to place three digits. So it will be uh, one, two, three. So we have to place decimal point here. Now it will be 0 0.769. So 28 plus 0 0.769 will be 28.769. Twenty-eight point seven six nine. Uh, so twenty-eight seven hundred sixty-nine divided by one thousand is twenty-eight point seven six nine. Now question number two: Convert each of the following fractions into decimals. First, we take one divided by four. We have to divide four with one. 4 is the denominator and 1 is in the numerator. So 4, 4, 0, 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. Now decimal point, we have to place 0 here. 4, 2, 8. 10 minus 8 is 2. Now it is 0. 4, 5, yeah, 20. 0. Now it is 0 0.25. So 1 divided by 4 is 1 divided by 4 is in fractional form and 0 0.25 is in decimal value. Decimal form. 1 divided by 4 fractional and 0 0.25 is in decimal. So 1 divided by 4 is equal to 0 0.25. 1 divided by 4 is 0 0.25 Now question number second bit B 3 divided by uh, divided by 5 We have to convert these fractions into decimal Divide 3 with 5 5 5 0 0 3 then we have 0, into plus 2, 5, 6, yeah. now it is 0 0.6, so 3 divided by 5 is in fraction, this is fraction, and 0 0.6 is decimal, so 3 divided by 5 is 0 0.6, Now question number third bit C. 7 divided by 8. We have to convert this fraction 7 divided by 8 into decimal. We have to divide 7 with 8. 8, 0, 0. And 7 minus 0 is 7. Now to place 1, 0, 0, 0. 8 point. 8, 8 is 64. Now 70 minus 64 is 6. We have to place 0 here, 60. 8, 7, the 56. Now 60 minus 56 is 4, 0. 8, 5, the 40. 0. So 0 0.875. 7 divided by 8 is in fractional form. And 0 0.875 decimal form.
to 7 divided by 8 is 0 0.875. So converting 7 divided by 8 into decimal is 0 0.875. Now question number 3. Convert each of the following fractions into decimal. Express. This is a word problem. Express 18 seconds of an hour as a decimal. 18 seconds of an hour. So we have to divide 18 seconds with divided by 1 hour. And we know 1 hour is 60 minutes. 1 hour is 60 minutes. And 1 minute is 60 seconds. 60 multiplied with 1 minute is 60 seconds. Now it is 18 divided by 60 multiplied with 60. Now 6, 3, 18. Now 3 divided by 600. Now 3, 1 ja 3, 3, 2 ja 60. 1 divided by 200. And 1 divided by 200, if we divide 1 with 200, 200, 0, 0. 1 minus 0 is 1, 0. 0, point 0. 0, point 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. So, 18 seconds of an hour is decimal will be 0 0.005. Now, we If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you have any doubt, then please write in comment section and I will reply. Keep learning, keep watching and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.